we're really still every day, we always look for the customers who are suffering from this problem. And if you don't have enough customers who are suffering from the problem, then it probably isn't worth building. And suffering really means that they're reaching out to you constantly at where, what's the update? What's the update? What's the update? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? And a year later, since launching our product, we still have customers reaching out to us, asking for things from us. And a huge thing that I think a lot of people don't, you know, a lot of people kind of intuitively know when they see it is product market fit. Oftentimes, we had um, an investor and I'd always ask him, what is product market fit? And this is mostly for B2B. He said, when your service goes down at 2 a.m. and people start calling. And I think that is the level of demand you want from customers. It's not your service goes down at a very reasonable hour, like 10 a.m. or or 2 p.m. in the afternoon and people are annoyed. It's when it's people are using it at odd hours of the night because they have to use it, because they're working their butts off and they need to use it. It is essential to their business. And those types of things are very rare. Those types of services very rarely exist. And our product hit that that milestone, you know, pretty early on where customers, you know, if our service went down or something was wrong, they're like, I have a call I need to record right now. And and then they come back the next day and they'd be like, where's my research? How, where did this go? How did this go? So if, if our service wasn't perfect, if it didn't work phenomenally well, they were very frustrated. And even today, when they ask for features, they're always following up. Is it done? Is it done? Is it done? Because they use the product every day. It's essential to their business. And I think those are the only problems we're solving is, is it essential to their business? Is this essential to the success of their business? Uh, and these are questions you really have to ask in a downturn like today is, is you know, if, if, a, if a company is going to start systematically shutting off the services at their company, where does yours fall? You know, when do they shut off their service? And you want to be one of the last ones. And usually the last ones are infrastructure or payment processing, things that allow their business to exist. You want to get as close to that as you possibly can. You know, we're probably somewhere in the middle. You know, we're, we're probably like the last third of the services that they might shut off. But we want to get to that. Like, you know, you, you cannot start or you cannot shut down a company without thinking about Build Better.